here to get my coffee. I am sick as a freaking dog, man. Like an ant. We're here. Have a heart for the family. God bless you. All right, well, yeah, before we uh, start, I was talking about these. I did a, a real quick short video actually using the cobalt, but it died. But we still got a couple screw um, <laughs> drill holes done with it. Um, as you can see, the cobalt charger is attached right now, but we're going to hook it up. But, you know, I talked about it at the Milwaukee Day event. Like I said, I got these free, man, with, uh, I think Amazon was giving these away for free with some, I don't know what, what kit I got. It was a real cheap kit. I, th I think it came with the impact driver, the brushless three-speed, and then DeWalt sent me one. So, it was kind of a wash, but uh, this was uh, part of it, and... Um, I wasn't expecting it. Uh, excuse my voice. I'm I'm very under the weather, <clears throat> but I decided to, you know, go live a little bit. Um, then we're gonna get to the rigid. But uh, yeah, people ask me all the time, and even before I got these, um, I've been using Dewalt drill bits for a long time. Uh, with drill bits, there is a huge difference. You know, and obviously there's a huge difference with, um, you know, screwdriver bits also. But let me tell you, man, when it comes to, you know, what kind of bit, um, what, you know, meaning what kind, what's it made out of, whether, you know, just your steel, whether just your, you know, uh, black oxide, you got your titanium uh, cobalt now is getting popular again. Um, what's up, Bobby Thorpe? Everybody, I would go through all your names and say what's up, but uh, I'm uh, not feeling too good. Hey, what's up, Travis Lee? Donnie, Ruben, Daryl, Angel. Hi, Everyday Tools. What's up? Dr. Quinn. Eno Lima U Ahabistra. But, you know... If you know me, and you've been listening to me for the past couple of years, I always say get titanium. I think it's the best bang for your buck. Uh, it's good in all different types of materials. You know, black oxide, I, 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 you know, for the, I mean, there's times where you can get titanium for the same price as some of these black oxide bits, whether from Milwaukee, DeWalt, uh, Bosch, etc., Ryobi. Um, I don't even know if Milwaukee makes a black oxide uh, drill bit anymore, but they were the main thing probably four or five years ago. I don't know why I'm talking about this. Um, this is supposed to be about rigid. Right, maybe we'll talk about this then. As you know, we, we fly all over the handles, but real quick, I, I like the wall, and I'm not saying other brands aren't as good. Um, you know, I've really consistently have used two. Um, I use Ryobi, which are horrible, but, and even their titanium, they're not, they're just not as good. Now, listen, the Ryobi titanium are not bad. Um, and to be honest with you, like I said, I, I don't know, cause I, I've, I've never used Ryobi's titanium. I don't even know if they make Ryobi titanium, but what I'm trying to say is I would definitely recommend if they make a Ryobi titanium over their black oxide or their regular bits because they're terrible um but these yeah they're just i break them all the time the impact and listen some impact ready drill bits um they all they all aren't good guys you really shouldn't be using an impact driver they're great to have like when you're in a tough situation but you will snap them trust me 
over a long period of time, you will snap those impact ready drill bits. You know, I think I got one or two Ryobi impact drill bits left. The rest of them are all cracked. But what's cool about them, when you do break them, you can still use them. You know, they're really short, but you can, you know, still use them. But listen, real quick, overall, I like the Walter best. No doubt. Um, you know, I used the Ryobi to try to drill holes in my trailer when I was doing my uh, trailer build, putting all the racks on. I would be able to screw maybe two screws. I'm mean, not screw, drill two holes into my steel frame of my uh, trailer, and it would it would be dull, dull, completely gone. You got to chuck it. Um, now it wasn't titanium, but got a Dewalt titanium, and I just bought one of them. I didn't buy the whole. It was I don't know what size it was. It was a certain size I had to get. I went through. I probably did 20 holes with that sucker, and I've been using them ever since the last three years. And this one just came, but uh, yeah, I, I really like the Waltz drill bits. All right. I hope this doesn't turn many people off talking about the Walt. but. I want to talk about my favorite rigid tool ever. Possibly the best rigid tool ever. And I'm going to go out on a limb and personally say, because it's really my opinion. My opinion's the only one that counts, as you know. Just kidding, of course. <clears throat> the rigid mid torque impact wrench, best rigid tool ever constructed by the Chinese hand or by the human hand excuse me yeah so I can't recommend it anymore uh, I've probably done four or five videos on it people still ask me about it so I figured hey let me give them an update was just using it the other day um, it's awesome guys uh, I don't know as you can see, um, you know, once this light goes off, um, I don't know. Yeah, I'm sick, Alfred. And it's not even like um, it was made by, yep, not tech. Well, I guess you could say, yeah, TTI. What's up, Tebow, man? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if it's still 159, guys. If it is, you guys should jump on it. Um, it was huge around Christmas. I want to say it came out in November, early November, late October. We've done probably four or five, six, seven videos on it. Again, I can't stress more. If you're looking for an impact wrench, um, you know, you really get everything with this one. Um, you know, we talked about whether it's the new Makita Subcompact or the new DeWalt mid-range, which, listen... Are the DeWalt mid range and the Milwaukee mid torque better than this rigid? Yes. Okay. That being said, is it a whole lot different? No. It all comes down to just, you know, feel, uh, comfortability, um, you know, exactly, uh, you know, torque power obviously when you go to the milwaukee over it but the price difference between the two is just an absolutely no-brainer okay lawn Moore. now and actually a couple people bought it my man southern style i don't know where he's been i think he got he got mad at me but um southern style uh me personally i bought it for 149 uh as soon as i don't know two two weeks later it was 159 with a five, four amp hour battery, I did so many videos on the rigid automotive um, kit. It was out. It was a two ninety nine. I did. A, I'm like, this is amazing. Two ninety nine. You get this impact wrench. You get the angle grinder. You get the impact driver with two four amp hour batteries. Then it dropped to two sixty nine. I went even more crazy. I'm like, dudes, you gotta go get this thing. I hopefully some people jumped on it, but you know, for 159, 
charger four amp hour battery again the bare tool whether it be the milwaukee 189 whether it be the dewalt 189 to get to spend thirty dollars less and to truly have a three speed pure now it's four speeds we know that hey what's up man i appreciate it i wish it was on better circumstances um i'm sick but i i wanted to check in with you guys and this is um yeah welcome back buddy this is something i figured i was gonna call it like workshop talk or something but um i decided to talk about the region um but yeah you know you got four speeds you got the auto mode which is pretty cool man it, it really does work now is it you know a game changer no but it's freaking awesome to have especially like when you're torquing lugs and stuff um you know so you don't over torque them you know it kind of stops uh you know we go over it and I'll, I'll put links to my videos um either up here or up here or maybe in the description but um you know to have the auto mode, but the, the uh, three speeds, which, you know, really bring it to make it have a lot of versatility. I mean, you can have that 50 to 100, um, and you still got, you know, what's great about this too, you get really good IPM. Um, I can't, can't quite remember, actually, I actually should tell you on here. 3,500 IPM, focus, hocus, pocus. Will you focus? <laughs> you like that? Yeah, so 3,500 um, IPM, which is really, really good. Um, you know, besides the, the uh, new Makita subcompact, it's one of the highest you're going to find. Um, you know, especially in a mid-torque. You know, this thing can do 450 foot-pounds. Um, it's, it's handled everything I've thrown at it, you know, up to probably 400 foot pounds um listen no doubt in my mind it's the best tool which it's, it's really the first one that i really liked and i don't even really like the first one i liked thank you steven monkey brains what's up the question is do rigid tools make you rigid well let me tell you they're they're starting to really come out with some great stuff um as you see, they are evolving and they're developing into, you know, a really major brand now. And, um, you know, this, this is a great tool for them. Um, it's, it's selling very well, according to the people I've talked to. You know, is it as refined as the DeWalt? Absolutely not. You know, you got plastic up here. But, you know, you got that LSA. So even if you were, yeah, 450, I believe. 400, 450, I think 450, though. Um, nut busting, or what should I call it? Breakaway. Um, you know, I just did the oil change video with the Ultima. Um, you know, taking lug nuts off. Um, got some footage of it with the mowers. We're starting to get into mower move here. I'm going to do something with that tomorrow. I don't want, want to lose that. that is, yeah. there we go. Look at all that. That's here, man. We got a little fight. We got into a little fight over here, man. But um, the anvil. Now, that's the only thing I wanted to mention. Love it. You know, you got some nice uh, over molds. Just a real sleek, you know, has a has a pretty nice handle. Um you know, it's 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 fairly thin, and I like the hex grip on all of them, on all the rigids. I really do like that uh, the grip on the rigids. Um, you know, sometimes the handles are a little bit wide, which I don't like, but they really slimmed it down. Again, a lot of rubber. If this was rubber, it would be tits. We talked about it, but the biggest issue with this is the anvil. Um, now the brushed model of this tool as you know it's been out a long time uh 325 foot pounds i got i've done videos on it but three four yep okay yeah there's i mean it's a, i tell you it's like rigid is uh, they're almost like milwaukee's 12 volt every week there's a new tool 
Um, and people have asked me about Rigid's 12 volt. I, I, I wouldn't recommend it. People have asked me actually in the past like two weeks, I probably got 10 questions. Oh, the, my, the Rigid's on sale for $99 or it's $119. The, you get the impact and the, the drill driver and two, you know, should, but I'm like, yeah, I listen, do what you want. I, I it's a very basic, uh, platform. I wouldn't recommend their 12 volt. I, I don't know what they're doing with it. I don't think they're really taking it seriously. Um, those two tools have been out for a while. They have that, you know, palm nailer. That's it, it's pretty cool. But you know, if if you're gonna get into a 12 volt platform, you got really three choices, and you can't even go with the wall. Um, like I said, seven eight years ago, the wall was the leader in 12 volt they had the first slide on pack you know the non torpedo battery check this out hmm. oh yeah and i'm gonna be doing a giveaway i i got some stuff i got a milwaukee shirt i got a milwaukee pen take the pen take the pen and i got a couple hats bear bear paint hey they're free what are you gonna do um but yeah you got really three choices like i said dewalt was the leader uh they totally abandoned i don't know why because they still sell pretty good to this day people are still buying those dewalt 12 volts you know why because it says one thing on it dewalt i right, know they have a very 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 big cult following just like Makita, just like Milwaukee. Um, but you got Makita, you got Bosch, and you got Milwaukee. So the 12 volt stuff, but uh, very versatile. It's at a great price. Now, if you don't really need it right now, I would, I would hold off because I just have a feeling. I don't know if you're gonna have to wait until Christmas time, and if you do, you can scream at me later. But I just have a feeling that they're going to come back out with that kit for 159 again. Um, you know, there's been stories, there's been pictures that I posted on Instagram personally of the Ryobi impact wrench kit with a 4 amp hour battery and charger for 80 bucks. Now, if you can get your hands on that, go get that sucker. All right, it's not brushless. But for 80 bucks, god damn. What if for the battery alone is worth freaking 75 bucks? Um, and they're still around. They're still around. Uh, you might have to do a little sneak and peek. Some people don't even know they have it. They're up all the way up on these shelves, man. You know, they're in these boxes and all that. My uh the store that is close to me, not not Sean Barry, Benjamin's store, but they were talking about there's like a, there was like a whole case of them up on the rafters up on the uh one of the shelves up up high up there you know what i'm saying so but that's what i'm saying very versatile great great tool and but that ryobi has three speeds also so um you know that that's really a great buy for 80 bucks but we're not really talking about that but i just have a feeling around christmas time it's getting blurry um, you're going to see that 159 price point again. Uh, you might see it again, you know, maybe in the summer. They kind of do like a summer deal, you know, usually like in July and August. You might see it again. But uh, for 149 uh, as a bare tool, I would think a little bit twice about it. Because you got to remember, when you buy rigid tools in kits, the tool has the LSA, the battery, and the charger. So really, the only way to buy rigid tools, honestly, is in those kits. Got to be smart. Take advantage of, you know, all the little trinks and trinkets. So if you're going to buy Ryobi, buy the kits, man. Uh, but again, 149 is a bare tool. Yeah. But taking price and everything out of it, I think it's the best made. Um, most versatile impact wrench for the money you can get and for rigid 
as you know its platform this is the best tool that they've come out with to date to date and there's some good ones again a lot of their good tools and people again think i bash on rigid i don't bash on them i just think their hammer drills the drill drivers and their impact drivers stink the circular saw is the, the yeah it's it's better than bad you know it's like a six and a half <clears throat> but these tools are are awesome you know i got their blower here man that that miter saw is is awesome and they have the uh a sander I, I like um but yeah you know the batteries uh, listen i've heard great uh, that's a good thing to talk about too hi rigid handyman so yeah give me some likes because i like rigid okay give me the likes man i'm not bashing on rigid all the time i just try to be honest with you people and if i can't be honest what good is it dude you know what I'm saying? But, um, what was I talking about? Oh, yeah. So the new Octane batteries. Uh, now, I've heard it from Sean Perry Benjamin. I've heard it from Nickapalooza. I am going to personally bring it up when I'm at the synopsis. Or I'm probably saying it wrong. The, the, let's take a look, y'all. And I got, I can't believe it's coming up. It was in June last year. Like mid June, now it's now it's in um, May second to May fifth, so it's it's happening quick. I just talked to my guy over at Rustic Renovations the other day, man. Um, they'll be going again, so I'm excited. I get to see them once a year. I was gonna try to make it up to Minnesota, but I ain't going up there in the winter. I mean, Jersey winter was bad enough, let alone Minnesota. But maybe this summer, we will be live with Rustic Renovations. Yes, the television show. Yeah, man. Um, anyway, yeah, so I've talked to a few people about the new batteries. Now, there are they are in store. They're, the 6-amp hour battery is in some kit. Uh, they can't sell it yet. So the 6 amp hour battery is kind of ready to go. We've been talking about it since what? July of 2000 what? 16. So it's almost been 2 years. We knew it was coming out. It's got Bluetooth. It's a 6 amp hour octane and a 9 amp hour octane. Um you know, they're very quiet still. Uh now you, you know Sean Perry Benjamin works for Milwaukee, but the guy who signs the check is TTI. So, Ryobi, Milwaukee, and they make Rigid. They make this tool right here also. But, you know, they're kind of hush-hush about the Octane and everything that it can do. Now, we know about the Bluetooth. We know about, you know, the 6-amp hour, the 9-amp hour. But you're going to be gaining in certain tools. 20 to 25 percent more power just by slapping on an octane battery now if you guys have followed me since the beginning all you people there's probably not too many because i my i mean my videos are bad now but in the beginning they were terrible but my first 20 videos were proving to people wrong that batteries don't make a difference what do you mean it's an 18 volt battery. It doesn't matter what size it is. Yeah, you might get a little bit more runtime with a 4 amp hour battery over it too, but that's it. So I did the lug nut challenges, you know, specifically with uh, one of the rigid impact drivers, where we had a lug nut torqued at 128 foot pounds with a 2 amp hour battery. The rigid could not get it off. We slapped a 4 amp hour battery on it. Like it was cheddar cheese, my man. But now everybody's coming along. Everybody's like, oh yeah, the bigger the battery, more power. But I have arguments over arguments, man, on there. I had electricians. Hey, I'm an electrician. I'm studying electric. Electri it's just humanly impossible. There is no way. I'm like, oh, okay. 
I'm like, all right, the Milwaukee engineers. See, I knew I had everybody because I talked to a Milwaukee engineer. Yes, back in the day. And when he told it to me and explained it to me, I was ready to go with it. So, but anyway, you don't need a history lesson on the Tool Boss channel. But the uh, new Octane batteries, seriously, you're going to be able to um, do some damage with them. Uh, 20 to 25% more power. Now, I think they're coming out with like Octane tools, I believe. I might be wrong about that. Obviously, we know about the Octane Octane battery, but I don't know if they're working on it. I, I, I could have maybe heard it wrong, but I don't know if it's going to be with every rigid tool or it's like specific Octane tools. Again, once I know more, I'll, I'll bring it along to you. I don't want to say too much because, you know, I don't really know everything. But, oh, Chris Jones in the house. He's back. He's back in the New York groove. Oh, yeah. He cracked. So, yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, highly recommend it. It's so blurry. Uh, again, the rigid impact wrench. Um, it's 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 awesome. Again, the the, the oh, I didn't actually talk about it. Yeah, the the, the worst thing or the, the one thing to look out for is the anvil. Uh, I started talking about it, but I went off base. Really bad. You guys there? Hey, you guys are there? Wait, wait, don't leave. Hello. We're back. Maybe it'll cut that out. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut it out. I'm back. People. Oh, my God. You're still here. I don't know what happened, man. But my phone kind of died on me. Oh, it's Edward Grimm. Miguel is still here. No, don't leave. Edward. Oh, that's great, man. Yeah, the YouTube app died, and I couldn't get back on it. Oregon Gold Hunter, what's up? Edward Grimm, TiVo Man, Ruben Kari, 94, Nathaniel, Chris Jones, everybody. All right, let me get this um, part done. I don't know. I got pretty decent battery. I don't know. The thing just died. Um, But let me get this part out. Yeah, the only, the worst part about this, and it's, my point being, is it's a lot better than the brushed version, but it's still not that good. Uh, the anvil, as you can see, it's a little elongated uh, for whatever reason, uh, especially over time. Uh, what uh, You know, as I've been using it now, you know, I've probably had it, you know, like I said, since November. So five months now. What's up, David? Lon, hola, Borescope Day. How you been, Borescope? Yeah, I'm back. Minnie, James Raymond. Man, I love you guys. Sticking with the boss. Shai Jung Ro, great guy. I like Shai Jung Ro. But I wish I had another impact handy. But as you can see, it's a it's a little elongated uh, compared to some other uh, Dewalt uh, Milwaukee. Uh, but not as bad as the brush version. But it's still not very good. Uh, sockets do not stay um, on this impact wrench at all. Uh, when you first get it, it'll be okay. And as you kind of use it, um, it gets to be a, a, just something you're going to have to deal with. But nothing compared to the brushed version. Uh, the brushed rigid... Again, just a one of Rigid's bad. They're, they're not good, you know, but they're getting better. Um, from their lighting to this impact wrench, because this is really their newest tool. Now, I know they came out during Christmas with a new and improved impact driver and drill driver. I haven't, and a lot of you guys are posting that some stores have that rigid black limited edition for $280. Yes, I put it on my Instagram page. People are going crazy. But I believe in Kentucky, 
for 280 bucks. Now I had that in my car at 399, but for 280, one of the best buys out there right now. If I could have could, you know, if it was on online, I would do a video in a heartbeat telling everyone to go buy it. Brushless circular angle grinder uh drill driver. No, actually I think it's a hammer drill. Hammer drill and impact driver. Two four amp hour batteries, um, charger. Now even the charger is like that black limited edition. But uh, real great buy right now. If, if I see it for two ninety nine, I would probably maybe consider getting it. Now I think my I think my Home Depot might. Have, I got to talk to Sean Perry Benjamin. They might still have one left. Because uh, I would just love to bring it to you. Because you guys love the rigid man. You really do love the rigid. But. That's the biggest thing you're going to notice. Uh, and it's not really a little thing, you know, but again, you got to consider the price point. All right. You know, like I said, bare tool, 149 I would definitely spend the 40 bucks for the DeWalt, for the Milwaukee over this. But with that 4 amp hour battery charger for 159 and I think it's coming back. Uh, again, somebody uh, commented on the live stream saying, that it's this 149 bear tool, but it, it it will be back. But you gotta remember they've they've come a long way with this. The only the, the anvil's the only thing that's that's subpar on this whole tool. Uh you know, a lot of people don't like the uh LED three beam light up front, as you noticed, and I commented on it again back in the day. Uh they're starting to go back down here on a lot of tools. There's just too much, it's just too much shadow. I mean it, it's like it's too much. Um, but in certain situations, I mean, it's, it's powerful. Don't get me wrong. Um, you know, I can care one way or another, but I mean, this thing throws out some, some pretty good light. So if you're in a situation, I mean, you got yourself a pretty decent flashlight here too. Um, you know, you got three LEDs. You got to remember, uh, you know, well, this thing's probably dead, but... This isn't really, I mean, it's bright, but it's not really a, you know, can't really use this as a flashlight too much here, this cobalt. But, I mean, right here, man, you're ready to rock. You got to look under the car real quick. You got to go sneak in that closet. You got to go maybe look up at some duck work. You know, so, it's 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 a real nice tool. You know, I always think of, of, of stuff to kind of bring you outside the box a little, but, Great tool by Rigid. I don't want to take too much time up here. I want to thank you all for coming. Besides the anvil, um, I'm surprised they didn't fix, make it a little bit, like I said, it's a little bit better. Um, a little bit better than the uh, brushed version. But they, they could have did better. I don't know if it's because of the elongated. Like if you see the Milwaukee and the DeWalt, it's not as long. It's a little bit smaller, but a little bit wider. Just sockets just come right off of it. Um, like I said, with the with the, the brushed version, forget about it. But this is better. But besides that, it's a great tool. So I can't say much more about it. It is. And now, again, 450 foot-pounds of torque. Um, I don't believe Rigid ever went over the actual torque numbers on the speeds. But like I said, I'm going to put my videos up. And you'll see on speed one doing a application, whether lug nuts, lag bolts, uh, stuff like that on two. Um, but, you know, a, a fair assessment is 50 to 100 in speed one. You know, you're probably looking at, I don't know, 250 to 350 in speed two. And then speed three, obviously up to 450. So... Very versatile. Again, LSA, that says it all. But we'll talk more about it when it's 159 again. Um, and what's great is, you know, it has so much power. You know, for, it, it's, it's, it's quick. 3,500 IPM make it a very quick tool. And 450 foot-pounds is more, more, way more than enough. Uh, May 2nd to May 5th, bro. Um, but you can slap one of these 1.5 amp hour batteries on it, or, you know, you probably want to use a two, you know, again, I, I showed up if you're on Instagram, 
what Bosch is doing with their battery platform is it'll blow your mind. I know a lot of you guys aren't on Instagram, but please, actually, you can go. You don't have to go on Instagram. Go on toolboss44.net. I have a. Uh, as soon as you click on it, the home page, they got a four amp hour battery that is the size. This is the size of this right here. Yeah, this is the four amp hour battery from Bosch. Right here. Yep, four amp hour, right here. They got a a eight amp hour battery, which is the size of. Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, well, we're gonna have some fun. Bosch four amp hour battery, core Bosch core four amp hour battery. Bosch Core 8 amp hour battery. That's probably a little bit bigger than this. A little bit bigger though. Not much. And their 12 amp hour battery. I don't know. But it's it's you know, but it's 12 amp hours, guys. There's a 12 amp hour battery. And it has the core technology. If again. It's just so funny. Um, when you do a channel as long as me and, and, and we have these conversations, these little workshop, tool shop episodes. Um, you know, I was on Bosch all the time. Man, what's going on with Bosch? Uh, they used to be my favorite. 94 GT Coupe knows. They just haven't been doing anything. Uh, they release maybe two or three tools a year. And... You know, what's going on? That it's not even a brushless circular saw yet. What's going on? What's going on? I mean, look at this. This isn't even in, in existence anymore. Uh, they took this off the market. Um, but, again, great brand. And my favorite uh, at, one, at one time. Obviously, there's just been such a lack of innovation and tools and, and stuff like that. And not really much to talk about, but they have so much stuff going on. Again, they totally redesigned their L boxes. Um, I got to grab one. Um, now, the, I love their L boxes, and I think everybody likes them. They were pretty much the first company to come out. And I can talk about. I I, I have to do another video. Tar will talk about this because you know what happens. They see the title. Uh, rigid best tool, and then I'm talking about Bosch and, and, and freaking the wall bits. So tomorrow night we'll do just a chit chat, chitty chat, whack. But rigid, this is rigid's best tool ever made. Good night, folks.